Hello YouTube, I just want to show you my version of a survival wilderness tin. Everything I've included inside is in my opinion necessary for survival. Let's get to it. The finished product will have electrical tape sealing it so it's watertight. First things first, I have a menu or an index of everything I've included in the kit. So when I need it in an emergency, I'm not scurrying around looking for stuff. I know exactly what's in there. First thing I've included is a little wee emergency survival guide. Um, it's got uh, tips on medical care, shelter and fire, signaling and communication, and how to gain sustenance. First things first, a napkin. This can be used as tinder or my intended purpose, toilet paper. Because who knows, when you're out in the woods, you don't want to use the wrong leaf to wipe your ass. Next thing I've included is a latex non-lubricated condom. This can be used for pertaining water. It holds quite a bit and it goes hand in hand with my water purification tablets. Secondly, I've increased the secondly I've included my Band-Aids, medical tape, gauze, Tylenol, and some polysporin. Polysporin is necessary, necessary, necessary when you're out in the wild. Um, little things such as scrapes or cuts can get infected quite easily. But with polysporin, it kind of helps you fight against that. Also, polysporin can be used as fire starter. When in use conjunction with tinder or cotton, it lights up. These are coffee filters. These are partly um, necessary for pertaining water. Also, you can be used as tinder, but necessary for water for sure. You don't want to drink the nasty, nasty sediment or the floaties that are in some of the water you might come across. This is my fire kit. It's got waterproof matches, a striker, some cotton balls for tinder. I chose not to use uh, Vaseline on my on my cotton balls because I am. Um, I already have polysporin included in the kit. This is one of my uh, favorite ideas. It's a uh, heavy plastic little uh, baggie that I got some sort of product in. I kept it because this can be used as a drinking cup after you pertain your water. I have some fishing line here. There's enough line here to cast quite far offshore. You can also use this line for snares. Um, Many uses for fishing line. Included in this baggie are some water treatment pills. So, um, nextly we have my paracord, about three or four feet of paracord, uh, a compass. Both are necessary. Uh, the paracord can be used um, for shelter purposes, bows. Um, the compass is necessary so you can find your bearing and find your way out of the situation you're in. I've included two pieces of bazooka bubble gum. The wrappers can be used for tinder, the gum for morel. Also, the comic strips inside can be used for tinder and morel. They're quite funny, and there's actually um, some neat little facts on each one of the strips that uh, kind of make you uh, make you happy when you look at them. This is a mini flashlight. Runs on four watch batteries. Uh, dollar store buy, but fits in here perfectly. This is a necessity if you're stuck in the wool in the woods at night. I've also included a big rubber tourniquet. Uh, it's, uh, it's used for tying off wounds. You can use it as a slingshot. There's kind of a few purposes for this. It's small. I included it. I have about three or four feet of duct tape. Duct tape is wonderful. It can be used for repairing clothing, Band-Aids, many uses for duct tape. I got a medicinal prep pad here. This is uh, it's in to go in conjunction with my first aid kit. When you're finished with it, uh, Tinder. Also, some post-it notes. You could uh, use it as Tinder. They're small. They fit in there. Sugar. If you need that sugar rush, this is what you have to do. Just pour it in your mouth. It'll get you going for at least an hour. If you catch small game, I thought I'd include some salt and pepper. The salt's more importantly for dehydration, but the pepper, uh, 
change uh, change the taste of your food quite a bit. It's small. I put it in there. Q-tip. This can be used for applying the uh, polysporin to wounds. Uh, it could be used for tinder. It could be used for quite a few other uses. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Vitamin C. I included two packets of vitamin C to add to the water. Um, vitamin C, especially if you're surviving for longer than 24 hours, vitamin C is necessary. Um, if I can get them out of the tin here, I'll show you what they are. Just uh, 300 milligram packets, two of them. I have tin foil. Tin foil can be used to fashion bowls, cups, signaling, uh, a grill to cook your food on. Many uses for tin foil. I have some marking tape. This is pink marking tape. It can be used to tie um, around so you're not walking in circles. It also lets other people know you're in the area. And I have some other stuff taped into the actual tin itself. Uh, let's get a good shot. So we have two birthday candles. Those last longer than matches. They're great for fire starter. They're great for morale. They're great for warmth. They're great for light. I have four nails. The nails can be fashioned into, I don't know, arrows, tools, uh, fishing hooks, getting uh, the slivers out. Three safety pins. Those can be used for fish hooks as well, repairing your clothing. I also included two paper clips. Two eyelets. Those can be used in conjunction with your fishing line when you create a um, basically uh, a fishing rod. I included two sewing needles to repair any clothing. Um, a couple pins, emergency fish hooks as well. Some wire, great for snares. Um, of course, an exacto blade for cutting up whatever you may catch. And a piece of uh, shiny, reflective cardboard for signaling if your tinfoil gets damaged or used up uh, during the survival process. There you have it. This is what I have in my kit. And if you have any recommendations that can fit in here, let me know. I have more videos coming up. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you for watching.